So let's talk about ambient settings in Civil 3D and how we can change them to modify the units and what values are presented to us. So your ambient settings or most settings for your drawings in Civil 3D can be found under settings. And if you go to drawing and you right click and you go to edit drawing settings, this is where a lot of things are found. Now, first of all, it's also good to note that right now it's currently set to international foot. Um, a lot of times uh, surveyors will say to set it to US survey feet. This better represents the units. Um, just so you know, that's one of the probably the number one things to change. I mean, we're talking like fractions of an inch, but um, that actually matters a lot in the survey world. So sometimes setting this US, US survey foot or otherwise may deem a difference. So um, I'm gonna set mine to US survey foot while I'm under here. Um, so there's a lot more than ambient settings in here. We're not going to talk about a lot of it, um, but just note this is where your datum projection is. You really don't need it unless you're going to be putting aerials and stuff in. Um, your survey coordinates are going to come in on whatever coordinate system they were shot on regardless. Um, transformation settings, uh, default object layers for things. Um, but what we're here to talk about today is under ambient settings. So this is where you're going to find, is it going to display area in square feet? acres meters what's it going to do well right here is where you're going to solve that mystery for yourself right here um, so what you're going to do is again go to drawing settings by right clicking on under the settings tab right click on drawing one or whatever your drawing's name is go to edit drawing settings come over to the ambient settings tab here um, and then you're going to be looking under area now right now you'll notice my area is in square foot so if i want to change it to acres i could I'm going to leave mine in square feet. I'm just trying to show you where you can change this. Also, look at your other options in there. If maybe you had to rate something in square miles or square yards, you could change it as well. Um, also note, your precision is also in here. So whether you want it to go to two decimal places, three decimal places, or four decimal places, it can be found in here for your area. Um, for volume, if you notice here, volume is also under here. And this is where you can set, tell it to label it in cubic yards cubic foot or cubic meters. This is particularly handy when you're pulling off quantities and maybe you don't want your quantity in cubic yards and maybe you can better convert out of cubic feet. You can change it here very easily and just change it and then you'll get the new units. Um, also you'll notice under here is a few other things like elevations and stuff like that. Now one thing to note here is this doesn't change the fact that when you go into the label style and you change the label style to display more than two decimal places, this will not override that. This is for most things when it's pumping out information, um, such as giving you the square footage or giving you the elevations or giving you the volumes, how it's going to display that information for you. So just note, um, when it comes to visual settings and actually putting it into AutoCAD and seeing your elevation there, that two, three decimal places after, that's a point label setting that's a different area to go to. This is just if you're looking at it on screen in model space even here, what's the units displaying as? Or when I go to quantity takeoffs, you know, am I getting cubic yards, cubic feet, cubic meter? What am I getting? Um, so it kind of goes through that. So again, you'll notice a lot of different things in here. This is more mostly just for display, what units it's displaying towards you, not how it's going to look in AutoCAD if it's an actual object or item. So again, my name is Fearless Leader. This is the AIMCAD channel. Please like and subscribe below. It'd mean a lot. Um, and also keep checking for these videos. I'm trying to just do them in five minute increments. Make it easy for people to view them. This was a little bit shorter, um, but somebody had asked me how to find the settings for area and volume. And I was like, oh yeah, that's a great video. So again, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Again, any suggestions you want or have, um, regarding civil 3d videos post them and any of the different comments i will get them i will see them and i will do them um, also people have been emailing me and that's also kind of driving where i'm going with these videos so i'll see you guys in the next video and have a good day